is our first day in Tuscany. We are staying in Cote d'Ivoire. It's this cute little downtown. It's kind of quiet. But we're gonna be doing some wine tours around here and some cooking classes. And our first meal is at Mila Luce. And we're gonna get some pasta, some eggplant, maybe some wine, little some Diet vino. Coke. Little vino. <laughs> Just a little bit. Chin chin. Thank you very much. Eggplant pie? I like this. That's nice. And then we're gonna get some pastries yeah. too. Two, two. Yeah. One. One. And this chocolate uh, cream puff. Is that? And then this one right up here with the sprinkles. Yeah, grazie. Okay. What are you doing? I'm waiting for my Hugo Spritz and then I'll be all set. What you got there? A Hugo Spritz, which I had never heard of, but Julia says that it's a must. It's been her new drink of choice. And an apple spritz. So. Cheers, sisters. We are in Tuscany. What'd you get? Negroni. What do we have here? We have cereal and chips, drinks, meat and cheese, and say, bread. Say to the hey. All right, we are at our dinner. Il Frantiona. Wait, what? Frantio. Toyo. Frantio. say it again. Il Frantoyo. We had too much wine. Yeah, we had too much wine, but we are at Il Frantio. I'm just gonna show it to you. All right, so we are here. It's a Michelin recommended spot, and it's a vibe. It's like down in the cellar. Deliriousness is sitting it, in. Yeah, we're really, really the tired. Blue. But they open right at 7.30. We've had a lot of drinks, honestly. We're the we're, only ones here, no one but is here. people are coming, We they were like, you Everyone's guys are like the early Americans. And yeah, we are, because we flew in last night. We're gonna get some wine, we're gonna get some pasta, and we're gonna call it a night. Oh, that looks oh, really cool. Wow. Here are the tortello, asparagus, tagliolini, oh, good for the spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Right? A little restaurant that we did this and oh, that looks really good. up for the pizza. Right. Look at this lamb shank with sweet potato. We have artichoke with parsnip and some pesto and this yogurt sauce. If I heard correctly, this is porcini mousse with uh, porcini breadcrumbs and some sort of like jam in the middle. And then this is a their take on a croquette. There's some cheese and carrot, I believe, and it's in the shape of this like really pretty looking wheel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, it's spaghetti. Day one in Tuscany. Deliriousness <laughs> is an yeah. understatement. Yes. We've been up for what, 72 hours maybe? Too long. Too long. Good morning. We are headed to a winery today. We're going to Montepulciano. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Yep. So we're gonna drive there, and then we're also are gonna have a gorgeous four-course lunch at the winery. Buongiorno, Michelle. part of the group Marchesi Antinori and they have been producing wine for the last 26 generations. They make wine since 1300. So this is your private room. Oh my it's goodness. Reserved for you. Oh. 
it would be a trip through complexity. So we will start from the youngest to the more complex. So we'll start from Akelo 2022. It's from Cortona and it's 100% of Syrah. It's a very fresh and fruity wine. The 70% of this wine ages in Barrique third and fourth passage. The result is a wine with a gentle touch on the palate, soft and hazy to drink. Okay, look at the spread we have. We got ribiotto with some beans and bread and cheese. Oh my God. Is it Florence, okay? Margarita. We didn't get that one yet, did we? No. We have our stuffed guinea fowl with sausage. We have some vegetables. A meditation wine. So it's perfect pairing with dark chocolate. They had a heavy pour though. Heavy pour. Did you see mine? We just had our lunch. Julia, where are you? Where are you? I'm right here. How are Look you? Look at this stunning view we have. We just had lunch. We had beautiful veggies and, and snacks. Guys, chicken and, and, and so wine. I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna buy one bottle just. Let's get a case and send it home. This, this is the view. Yeah, yeah. Nope, this is the view. Take some pictures of me. fresh. They heated it really nicely. It's got that semolina crust on the bottom. Mm. All right, my pepperoni. Yep. Yum. Actually, it's very good. Is it better than the one we had earlier? It's better and yeah. not as doughy. It's better than that one. I think the matzo is like really fresh. And I like it. We are in Siena today. We came here after the kind winery. Of, kind of pulled an audible. We weren't planning on coming yep. here, so Walking spontaneity the is at an all-time high in Italy. Yeah, it's a very cute little town. <laughs> Tonight we're eating at Oisteria Nona Gina, and apparently the Nona is here cooking. We heard this is amazing, and yeah, we're gonna have some great food. It's like eating at Grandma's house. Yes. The menu is all in Italian and handwritten. Our food came fast. We have a ton of pasta. Oh, and one more. Oh wow, it looks great. Okay, look at our table. We have literally everything. We have carbonara, we have the rigatoni, we have a burrata with anchovy. Oh my god, what is that? Gnocchi. Gnocchi that they're known for. Cheesy eggplant. Yep, look at that. And this meat sauce. We hear this gnocchi is incredible. It's like a creamy pistachio sauce. They're filled with cheese. Cheers. It's kind of funky. Yeah. Yum. 
This is a traditional Tuscan dish. It's this stewed beef. It's so tender, it falls right off. That's really good. That's like, oh yeah. Yeah. We just finished dinner, and it's probably our favorite meal we've had so far. I guess we've only been here for a day and a half. But definitely the strongest meal we've had so far. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. All the pasta was so fresh. It was so affordable for seven of us with wine, tons of pasta, mm -hmm. entrees. I think it was like 150 euros. And Would have been double that in New York or more, no, more, more, way more, way more, more Connecticut. Um, yeah, but the best one was the PC pasta with some meat and pesto, so gnocchi stuffed with cheese, and with like a pistachio sauce. It's it was creamy, very, creamy, creamy sauce. pistachio sauce, which I, I really mm -hmm. liked. It was definitely it had like a funky cheese taste. A traditional Tuscan dish. It was a braised beef. I do not know the name of it. It had like whole peppercorns, kind of like they do in um, yeah. Genovese sauce, the pasta la Genovese. The texture was very similar to like a brisket. Yeah, highly recommend mm -hmm. Oistria Nona Gina. You see the Nona, you see the whole family. We met her daughter, we met her husband, and it was so sweet. They're so, adopting us. Yes. Ciao for now. Tell me your favorite dish. My favorite dish was the, the PC. It was like a pesto, but like had meat in it. I absolutely loved it. The noodles were like so chewy in a good way. And I can answer Julia's was the fat gnocchi balls that she was. They were little eggs. And I just put them in my mouth as a whole. Little eggs. the mic side there, kiddo. Yeah, there's <laughs> I'm originally from the UK. My father is from Florence. People always ask me, but why are you here? I say, well, why wouldn't I be? My love for food and wine has been ever since I was a child. Famous Italian architect called Santi di Tito. Really more than a historical landmark, this is quite a significant property to us. We are here, right at the top. What's it called down here? The dungeon. Oh. C Cantina Corta Vecchia. It's where most of the, the reserva comes from. So they built these underground cellars really to have a stable climate. When it comes to aging wine, there are two main factors. The size of the barrel and the age of the barrel. And it's all about the influence onto the wine of storing extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I say traditional because we don't use them anymore. It's actually illegal to use them. Bacteria, oxygen, feel free to open them up. Uh, they do come from the 1800s, so they are more historical artifacts than anything. This is like a museum. Materials that we proudly produce here. Again, terracotta, marble. You will see all over the place. Welcome, guys. Okay, yep, there it is. Welcome to the Cucina Storica. Oh my god. This is where you spend your days. This is where I spend my days. So today we're going to make risotto agli asparagi, asparagus risotto. We are going to make ravioli with spinach, ricotta, with brown butter and sage. We're going to make tagliatelle with leeks and sausage. And then we are going to make tiramisu. So please, everyone take an egg, crack it into your bowl. I'm going to get as close to the actual ravioli as possible. Guys, what are we doing? We're doing a cooking class. Like a pasta, bitch. We're making pasta. <laughs> yeah. Eduardo is helping us. And, um, These guys are doing an awesome job. Where are we? This is 
gorgeous. Incredible. We're exiting the old city of San Gimignano and it was such a beautiful day. It's all stones and it almost feels like Game of yep. Thrones. Now we got a bunch of cheese and meat and some bread to Fortimaggio. bring back. And we're yep. gonna go home to the hotel and just like have a Snack beautiful away. Italian Eve. Guys, we're back at the hotel. We're gonna get a little bit of pizza maybe and just snack. We're playing cards. We have some wine, some bread. Carly, here's some bread for you. A little jam going on. Ooh, that would have sucked. What's on it? Oh, a little honey like, action. Rucola is like a type of salad. It's a little, it's a tiny salad. Okay. Yeah. Unboxing. Do it. One for you. <laughs> oh wait, I think you, what? Oh my god. They're stacked. Okay, here Tess. That's mumpy.